Today we will see how to create a search bar animation prototype like this in Figma in just a few minutes. The first thing that we will do is create the actual design of the search bar before we kind of add any kind of prototyping, animation and stuff like that. So I will take a search bar icon, can I resize it a bit, I'll then um, add a text like search product dot 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 and then we will apply auto layout right add a stroke we'll do some adjustments in the stroke in the padding to kind of make it uh, look and feel more like a proper search bar right and once we are done we're gonna be adding some radius as well I think 10 would be enough and then you might just have to adjust the side paddings to kind of make it more like a, a like a search bar basically it will mostly depend on your design but um, i usually add a bit more padding to the left side to just make it look more real in general and i will change the color of both these things this is done now we will add our cursor a cursor that will kind of blink when we kind of click on the search bar to add that animation we first need to place that cursor in the design itself right i'll click on text i'll add a cursor I'll bring it in here and with the help of absolute positioning which is over here we are gonna be bringing this cursor right in the beginning of uh, you know uh, where this basically text starts from right once that is done I'll change the color of this cursor as well to the same light gray and we are good to go right next we're gonna be duplicating this frame now, in the duplicated version, you want to kind of uh, make changes here, adjustments, uh, basically based on what you want the search bar to act and look like once someone clicks on it, right? So what I'll do is I'll kind of uh, bring the transparency down to zero for this cursor over here, right? I'll change the color of the stroke because I want it to uh, become blue when someone basically clicks on it. So we'll add a nice blue one i also want to add a decent amount of drop shadow uh, which is gonna be of the same color as the stroke to kind of make the search bar look more interactive and natural and real and in total i kind of fast tracked a bit and here you will see one normal search bar the one that will kind of be visible in the very beginning the non-functioning state basically and then when someone's click on this one i want to change the stroke and add a shadow effect to the search bar and then we will kind of remove the transparency basically reduce the transparency of this cursor to zero right now we create a component set out of this now we will create a component set out of this one and drag and select as a create component set and we will add the animations now go to prototype from first to second we will add a simple um, on click animation but from second to third, to make that cursor blink and show up that animation, we're going to be adding an after delay effect, right? So after delay, uh, we'll kind of be playing with the timing because it depends upon how you, uh, how fast do you want the cursor to blink and animate. So let's keep it 400 for now. And similarly from third to second, we'll also add an after delay effect. See, 400 and we are good to go. I'll name this component as search bar. We have a frame over here and I will test this thing. So I'll just go to my assets I'll search for search bar. We have it here and now we will test it. Let's see. It's very simple actually. All you need to learn is the basics of auto layout and how to make a component and you can just brainstorm and make this entire thing on your own. So now if you see you just gotta click on this thing the cursor is now blinking and it's getting animated and now the search bar is actually looking like a search bar itself so this is how you create a search bar in figma it's very simple you can add as many variations as many effects as many design variation to this as much as you need this is the basic of how you create a search bar how you add the animation and how you make it function like a search bar in your uh, designs and prototypes. So I hope this video was uh, helpful for you. If so, then please hit the like button, subscribe and share my video. It will really, really help me out. And I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay healthy and well, brush up your skills daily.